Remembrance Service this weekend won't be disturbed, the head of the Met Police has insisted. Sir Mark Rowley said a march in support of Palestinians planned for Saturday would only be banned as a last resort if there's a real threat of public disorder. Organisers have resisted pressure from police and politicians to postpone, pointing out that the planned route doesn't go past the Cenotaph War Memorial and the march isn't due to start until after the two-minute silence. Talented women are leaving their jobs in the city. That was the warning to a group of MPs recently. More and more corporate institutions across the capital are insisting on their staff working in the office five days a week. One lawyer said she withdrew from a job application recently because of the lack of flexibility offered. At that point, I just had a bit of a sinking feeling in my stomach and I thought, oh gosh, this, isn't, this is not going to work. I think that women with children are going to be less likely to go for those roles um, because there are other options. There are many, many companies that are understanding that it doesn't have to be that way anymore. So I think they will lose talent. Now, if you happen to be in the City of London Square Mile early this morning, you might have seen a golden coach going by, being drawn by six dray horses. That was part of the rehearsal for the Lord Mayor's Show, which is taking place this weekend. And you can see live coverage of the annual parade this Saturday on BBC One. Now, if you're travelling by tube rather than horse-drawn